この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。This video is sponsored by Vera. Yo, who are you? Hey guys, could I play too? Nah, man. Just like your girlfriend, your skills don't exist. How'd you get in my house? Hey, exit this way, bud. If only I had good cards. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas to everybody! How I became a professional Shadowverse player. Anyways, without further ado, guys, I present to you Power Forge. Power Forge is a two play point dragon craft spell that deals X damage to an enemy follower, where X equals the attack of the strong ice allied follower in play. You can also activate this card's enhanced mechanic on seven play points, which summons a 5 5 dragon before dealing the damage, meaning you can do five damage even if you don't have a follower in play when using this enhanced mechanic. Also, keep in mind you can use your evolution points to further boost the damage that Power Forge can deal. You can activate this card's effect as early as turn 2 if you played a Goblin or a Disciple of Disdain on turn 1, dealing a massive 1 damage. Wait, 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 I'm just kidding, just kidding. This isn't where the cards shine. Unlike other 2 play point removal spells, Power Forge can deal more damage the longer the game goes on, making Ramp Dragon. A deck that focuses on getting play points as quickly as possible, a perfect fit for a card like this. Having access to cards like Dragon Oracle, Aela, and Roy makes using Power Forge much more easier. You can use it as enhanced mechanic much more quickly, or even combo it with big followers like Galmu, Poseidon, or Izzy d e h a k a to destroy almost any follower in the game. Another deck that Power Forge can be used in is Linworm. Although not as popular as Ramp Dragon, it's still worth mentioning because A v a l a Strike will be rotating out. This is important because Linworm is a deck that focuses on playing 10 non follower cards to activate Linworm's effect to either storm the enemy's face for 10 or to heal yourself for 5 and draw a couple of cards while you're at it. Losing a spell is a huge deal for Linworm as it hurts deck building a lot. Linworm wants good, cost effective spells and amulets to play to activate Linworm's effect as quickly as possible, and with Power Forge, it has a cheap and flexible spell to use in this deck. Since a v o u t Strike will be rotating out. Now, let's talk about Unlimited. A lot of spells in Unlimited aren't used since the meta is extremely fast. Decks like Aggro Blood, Aggro Dragon, and Aggro Sword are extremely popular. You need to play followers to compete against the smaller followers that these decks play. And playing a spell to destroy one follower isn't good enough when they can just play two more afterwards. Alright, let's move on to take two. First off, Power Forge is a gold rarity card, so you probably won't be seeing it too often when drafting your Take Two deck. But when you do see this card, I would pick it in a heartbeat, just for the value it generates when using its enhanced effect. Games do tend to be long in Take Two, since no one is playing a refined deck, so getting to 7 play points won't be that big of an issue. And even if you don't get the 7 play points, you can still use this card as a cheat removal spell. In an environment like Take Two, You have to use all your cards as efficiently as possible. Knowing what to play and when to kill certain enemy followers is the key to playing Take Two well. And with that being said, Power Forge does all these things just packed into one 7 play point card. And that concludes my card reveal for Power Forge. I am extremely excited to play the Alter Sphere expansion, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you, Psy Games, for providing me with this opportunity to present to you guys my first ever card reveal. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment what you think about the card, like the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the Echo Fox YouTube channel. I am Gengar, signing off, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.